Hello everyone, this is Satvik and this video I will share some of the most common cybersecurity mistakes that students make and these are something that I have collected from my personal experience as well as from the community. So let's start. So the first one is cybersecurity doesn't mean it it always has to be offensive security pen testing or red team so when you simply open youtube and start searching for cyber security tutorials you mostly see ethical hacking or pen testing related tutorials uh, even my channel is based on that but uh, if you simply look for the cyber security domains there are like so many domains within cyber security like uh, uh, there is an offensive part a defensive one there is like compilance there is like a digital forensics and there are like several other domains within cyber security uh, as i'm as someone else is doing on youtube uh, which is related to offensive security you doesn't have to do that unless you are completely interested in that so uh, keep an eye on that so it doesn't have to cyber security doesn't always has to be offensive security so there are so many other domains too and the second one is there is no single course to guide you from a noob to some kind of a master so this is some mistake i personally did you know i used to think that when i purchase any course like for example some x course on udemy or some other platform i used to think that this particular that particular course would teach me everything but cyber security is like ever evolving you know i don't know about other domains like for, for example programming you learn things and you mostly try to implement things but cyber security is always evolving new exploits new zero days everything keeps coming up uh, so you know if you actually want to uh, be in this domain like for example secure a job and do some good things you have to keep yourself up to date so and i'm not completely against the courses i do respect there are several very uh, there are very good courses out there you can go and check them out but don't be in a delusion that it will teach you everything so it might land you somewhere within an intermediate phase or something from like noob to inter intermediate phase and then from then it does require a lot of self-study or maybe you might also need to check out other courses other learning paths and things like that so there are very good uh, resources for that so i'll leave a link for some of them you can go and check that out and third one is this mistake uh, that i have personally observed is most people just stick to studying rather than practicing uh, cyber security or anything like program even programming it's if you keep studying the thing like just taking notes and just listening to the videos and all for example some tutorial videos and all uh, it will be good uh, it will give you some kind of dopamine rush and all but after certain time you forget them uh, one good way is like to practice and uh, practicing is actually may practice in the sense like you don't actually go and hack someone uh, out there you can there are very good platforms like try hack me hack the box and several other platforms which provide you some vulnerable laps and uh, things like that so that you can actually practice uh, pretty safely as well as you can also gain a very good skill and coming to the practice most people started asking me about the type of laptop that they want laptop or uh, a pc that they want to invest in so i would suggest you know if you are tight on budget you know just you can just simply go with some old thinkpad which can run linux and then you can register for hack the box which is like 10 dollar per month or track me like 10 dollar per month and they give you all the labs you don't have to install all the labs on your machine uh, which will actually save you a lot of time as well as a lot of resources as well because if for example if you want to install or uh, have your own active directory environment uh, which is not an easy thing you know like you have to have at least like uh, 32 gigs of ram and at least like very good processor and things like that and more disk space as well which is not always possible so i would suggest if you can't afford it just simply get a normal thinkpad flash a linux on that connect to the hack the box or try hack me vpn and start practicing so this is a very important thing because practicing makes man perfect as well as a cyber security uh, or like geek so something like that and thing and one more thing is like taking notes across everything so for example let's assume that you are watching certain tutorial on how to use uh, like mastering some kind of cv for example john hammond uploaded a cv which is related to next.js so you just watch it and you'll forget it right after certain because we are humans and we forget so my suggestion and this is something that i personally follow is like having some kind of a note so for example i personally use notion you can use any any notebook of your choice like even a physical notebook if you're interested in but uh, we'll talk about that uh, further but yeah 
taking notes of what you are actually listening and what you're trying to understand is a key part because after after like maybe like one or two years you can simply come back to that notes and revise back which is going to be really helpful right instead of watching that uh, the whole video again so note taking is really important and also don't always stick to the note taking so i know people who just take good notes but they don't practice enough so note taking isn't always you know the final solution i think practicing has more thing but uh, practice you when you practice there are lots of 10 commands which you'll forget so take the notes of that that's it and coming to the notes uh, you can actually take it on a notebook which i used to do it but later i realized it's a very bad mistake because uh, certain commands you know you just don't have to always type it you know you can just copy paste and uh, things get very easy then because uh, for example there are so many commands um like a, a very long for example an msf and payload to uh, generate a jsp related reversal uh, which is pretty long in my opinion you don't have to type it again you can just copy paste if you have a, like a, uh, an, a notebook with on your laptop or something like that uh, which will actually make your job easy and uh, that's a cool thing and one more thing is uh, uh, this is something you know uh, there are some certifications uh, uh, certain certifications which uh, guarantee you something like job guarantee or things like that there is nothing like that in my opinion for example ceh is like very well known within hr community and all but in my opinion i personally took ceh and i felt it is not at all up to the mark and i recently also saw the prices of ceh and it is almost two thousand dollars so i if you are in the a way or if you are planning to purchase ceh i would say just wait and give preference to the more practical related certifications because certifications with multiple choice questions can easily be uh, you know done because we all have we all use ai like certain part of this video script is also written by ai so you know you you are like ai is in our lives completely so like chat gpt or gemini or grok or something like that so multiple uh, i wouldn't give any preference i would give zero preference even if i'm hiring someone uh, if they show me like some kind of a multiple choice related certification uh, i would prefer a, a practical based like ejpt or pnpt or pjpt and oscp if you can actually afford it but uh, i would suggest uh, in this moment like this is 2025 and uh, things got pretty advanced you know you can't simply show some kind of certification which is based on multiple choice questions and anyone could pass it with thumbs or even ai could pass it so just be beware of the certifications that you are planning to invest in and uh, i think these are all the things that i personally felt that many people make the mistakes and coming to me uh, my mistakes i've done was like i used to think a particular course used to teach me everything but never you know i had to purchase some other courses or learn other things on my own so that i'm not a master stage or something i'm still in uh, intermediate phase so yeah there is a lot more learning in cyber security uh, so yeah and also notes i used to take notes in my old uh, uh, diary or something which is a very bad idea i lost that and I, I wrote so many good commands in that and later i realized it and started using notion uh, which actually helped me and all so thank you for watching this video till the end uh, if you have uh, if, if you feel that if i have missed any of the most common mistakes please let me know in the comment section so that uh, other people who watch watches this video will uh, get that and uh, really thank you for watching this video uh, this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next one thank you take care bye